something about the presentation. Okay. Uh, it was uh, really a, a great presentation indeed. Thank you. Uh, initially, when you were going to start PTP cycle, I thought that you are going to do the same cycle that the material requirement, okay. such as the PR, PO, okay. GR, IR, and you will finish up. Okay. But uh, your, uh, you have gone into very deep and it was nice and clean explanation. So, my, my point is, uh, before creating the PO itself, okay. we need to uh, create an agreement between the vendor and the organization regarding the payment terms, mm -hmm. price charges and everything uh, which we need to clear before the PO. Yes. Afterwards only, we are going to create the PO. It, uh, no, we have the first agreement basically. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Once agreement is done, according to the agreement, we will have the purchase, yes. purchase yes. orders. But you mentioned uh, first PO. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. 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 Afterwards, uh, in PO contains material code firstly. Okay. So every material has a unique code in our database, SAP okay. database. Okay. By that only we will recognize the material. Yeah. Yeah. Not direct material, but the uh, material type, material code you are saying. Yes, yes, yes. And the other thing is uh, good receipt. Actually, okay. it is called as way bill. Okay. Now it is called as way bill. Okay. So in way bill, uh, uh, according to the amount, value of the goods, the government charge some, some, some amount. Okay. And there, the vendor details will be provided and the warehouse details will be provided. Okay. That's all. Great. Thank you. Any doubts? Any doubts? Mm -hmm. Set of 3M, I think. What about 2M? 2M. Okay. 2M, I think, yeah, I have example here. Purchase order is same and goods receipt is same, but not with the invoice. Why? Because there is a fluctuation in the uh, like price of the raw material. So, this is not matching. This is 2M, actually. Yeah, first of all, Santosh, uh, really congratulations to you. Thank you. So, uh, uh, communication is very good, but uh, there is no. No, no question. Okay. I'll tell you one, don't miss you one point. Okay, sure. Last one. Please. That is, that's called as a bank reconciliation. Yes. Entry for the bank reconciliation. Yes, yes. Reconciliation account. Bank reconciliation account at auto main bank account. Ah, yes, sir. Right. You missed that yes, point. Yes, That's what so, I am telling. So, once the payment is done from the company side to the vendor, that is done. And we will we'll do the reconciliation. Company background will do, team to the bank reconciliation, uh, reconciliation in, internally. That reconciliation entry is Bank reconciliation. Bank clearing account data to main bank. Bank clearing account data to main bank. After the this entry will be posted after the receiving of the statement. Bank to main bank. To main bank. That's what I am telling. Thank you. There is no need to any changes. Thank you. What about standard method and goal method? That comes into the integration with the FI2MM. This is a P2P cycle basically. You are asking about FI2MM integration. This is a cycle where we purchase any, every department requires something purchased, right? So, when it not only this indicates, this involves in every department, if it is HR also, they want something to buy, this is, this, this is a cycle basically. Here is the raw material that is coming to the warehouse. What if it is something that will come to the office? So it's a cycle for the purchase. So purchasing something okay. in the organization. Okay. This is a cycle. So FI to MM is a different story and FI to LD is a different story. So that's the integration part basically. Where is the integration? Uh, what is the key code of code integration of the FI? That's a different topic. This is not involved in this. Like it is an overview of the purchasing okay. basically. P2P cycle. P2P cycle. Okay. If any doubt. So procure to pay. We want something and we are paying something. So this is a cycle basically. What is the difference between quotation of the uh, what is that? Uh, purchase requisition. Yeah. Quotation? Yeah. Quotation is something, for example, I'm a company. I want something. I'm a buyer. You are the seller. There are multiple sellers in the market. I don't know, like you give her some price, you give her some 10 rupees, he gives her some 15 rupees, he gives her 20 rupees. But I don't know. I keep. I cannot uh, keep in my mind, right? When I come to you, I'll ask you, I want 10 machineries. You say that is 10 lakhs. I'll take a quotation. I'll ask you the quotation. If 
cannot serve the phone. I need a paper proof. That yes, you will sell me for 10 machines for 10 lakhs. For 10 lakhs. I will keep it with me. So I am going to another vendor. He is saying the same 10 machinery, same everything he is giving me for 9 lakhs itself. I will have that. So by that I will have few quotations. I will finalize well one vendor and I will go with the vendor. The quotation means so basically uh, you the seller is saying a proof that I will sell you at this price, this quantity and this is a quality. That is the quotation given by the seller. Received by the buyer. Yes. Quotation uh, belongs to this is in the point of company's view. Company. Okay, we should always think about the company. Right. They are working in a company. Then we have to think in a that point of view. You should not think in a point of view, vendor point of view. When we are a company, for example, this is a company. We require chair. This is a company, we require chair. We'll have the multiple, you know, we'll go to the market, we'll get the quotation. From different vendors who are selling the benches or chairs, we will get the different quotations. By that, which are the good quality and which are the lower price, we will select that and we will have the next process. So, here uh, negotiation is, is also takes place. That is takes place in the agreement. Yeah. Once, they, once they give the quotation, yeah. quotation, then they will they'll, they'll, they'll basically they'll have in the quotation itself, it is slightly negotiable or it is not negotiable, up to 10 little percentage it is negotiable. They and in the agreement everything takes part. Only in the agreement we will have the final price. So in real time, uh, as for my knowledge, procurement team's performance depends uh, uh, on the negotiation, how much they save the budget, company's okay. amount. Okay. Right? So after getting the quotation, mm -hmm. uh, they will have a meeting of, of negotiation with all the provided vendor. Yes. Okay? And they will call one by one in, in, the, in telephone, can be also directly and they'll 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 uh, try to negotiate the price okay so basically that in depth steps again when yes. we have the selected quotations yes, yes. we'll finalize the quotation yes. and again in that we'll not have direct meeting maybe we'll have over through phone or email yes. so once we get the nearest quotation we'll have finalized the agreement with the speed yes sir why negotiation takes place is actually mm -hmm. every company has a budget limit for the particular yes. transaction pro product purchase right so if we have a limit of 10 lakh, we can't exceed 10 lakh budget. If you have uh, finalized it for 9.5 lakh, the remaining 50,000 rupees are uh, called uh, treated as a savings. Yes. That but comes under the budgeting yes. as per what, what budget is allocated. And at the same time, the company's main requir major requirement to cost cut. Yes. Because where there, where there is, you know, increase the profit, there is a cost cut, there is a team for the cost cut. They will cut, uh, that, is more, that also takes a major part. In negotiation meet itself, uh, final vendor will be decided. Yes. Then uh, agreement with, is done. With the final vendor, we will we'll have an agreement. Yes. That is called a contract price agreement. Yes. CPA and sometimes in some companies called contract price management also. Okay. I have one doubt to call. Okay. If there is any chance to cancel the PO, mm -hmm. if, if I am taking the one uh, agreement also, uh, some vendor is there, mm -hmm. he is setting. Uh, Thousand rupees price. Okay. And then we are uh, done the PIVA also. Mm -hmm. Then after done the PIVA, mm -hmm. one vendor is came. Mm -hmm. I will give to the nine hundred only. Okay. He is selling that. Okay. Or, uh, so if uh, that case is we are cancel the PIVA, okay. there is any chance. Okay. It depends. See, purchase or cancellation it depends on from the you know whether the buyer the vendor vendor is canceling the purchase order or else we are cancel the company is canceling the vendor. We we are. No, that is what I am saying. Okay. It depends on the agreement. Once the purchase order is created, we will have the agreement, right? Yes, yes. If for suppose, if vendor breaks the rule, okay. what is the, you know, what is the compensation or whatever it is. If seller itself, uh, if the company itself breaking the rule, okay. what is the compensation? Why? Because you have to pay the down payment. Generally, when the purchase agreement is done, we will pay the uh, no, uh, down payment down payment. Okay. So, in that down payment, how much will return to us? Whether it is full payment or only we will uh, repay only 50%. It depends on the agreement. Okay. So it's cancellation is not that easy. Okay. So yeah. it depends. There are uh, many circumstances which she has to face by the who is cancelling the order. Okay. So those are the unmentioned yes. uh, agreement. Agreement also. Yes. Okay. Agreement is nothing only limited to how much we are buying and what price we are buying, when we will receive. Yeah, it so also includes if cancels, what is the situation? Cancel, 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 yes. cancel is exactly.
जनरल एंट्री जनरल एंट्री सर सर टीवे भी वन बाय वन टीवे भी वन बाय वन टीवे वन बाय वन जनरल एंट्री ओके व्हेन वी आर रिसीविंग सो व्हेन वी आर रिसीविंग गुड्स आफ्टर द गुड्स रिसीव्ड एंड वी वाइज रिसीव पेमेंट फर्स्ट स्टेज रिक्विजिशन देयर इज नो इनकमिंग एंड आउटगोइंग देयर इज नो एंट्री उंट gr account gr ir account debit vendor account credit once we pose the invoice and once we uh, when we have to pay to the when we have to pay even to the vendor that is what payment in a payment vendor account data to vendor account debit and bank account credit and once this is done we will have the reconciliation on the back end the entry is for reconciliation bank clearing account debit main bank account <coughs> credit so these are the basic entries uh, from for mp2 bank so vendor then to use the account is done in fdi 53 yes sir account 0 also will be done in fdi after going zero ट्रांसक्शनिस पार्शियल but if the vendor if the company wants to have the uh, more profit discount will pay according to the 14 days basically uh, the if we pay 14 days before 14 days we'll have some percentage of 10% on the bill so we'll have the more uh, benefit so we have the cost less where they again we are cutting the cost so we'll company tries to uh, pay before the 14, uh, 14 days to receive the 10% 